So, props continue on. I've got this really cool. But Wait a minute. That's better. I hate to get my fandoms messed up. Anyway, work proceeds on the LCD upgrade to the Delta Vega Props tricorder. Greetings, Dave here, DCBFX. I wanted to talk quickly. This is really, this video is going to be an addendum to my build series, which I've already done, you know, seven steps on how to get the Delta Vega Props tricorder built. This is an addendum because I have been gifted, well, I have been sent a LCD screen for it. Let's get this working here. So, and again, as I said in my other videos, you know, the frame rate is because of the camera, not because of the screen. So, this goes into the tricorder, and this is a nice little upgrade to this. Or it can be a model that you can purchase. Once we have them available, you can buy it with the LCD, and you can go from there. So, let me just show you a little bit here. Okay, so this is a, an addendum to the tricorder build. This is if you move up to the... LCD screen. Let me show you that working. And the issues with the screen, that's frame rate on the camera. Nothing to worry about here. It doesn't look like that. It's just because, well, frame rates. So what you need to do, let me just turn that off. When you get everything, it's going to come in pieces. You're going to have the screen, and I've already added this, but this is the board that you're going to need. And the board needs to go on exactly as I have it here. So you don't want to put it on this way. That's wrong. You need to go on this way. Whoops, I had that wrong. It needs to go on this way. Not that way, but this way. And then solder the 10 contact points on there. And this is then going to connect up to your power. And then this is your button board. It's really important to do this because once you have this good to go, put that down here, this has to go in here. If you put the main board in first, you're not gonna have any access to get the button board in. So when you do this, you've gotta get this in. Now there's also is a mounting bracket. Where did I put that? Anyway, there's a mounting bracket that it goes into that this slides into and then you're all set. So that's gonna sit in there like that and then the button board is going to go right into here and then you're going to put this other board on top. It's really important that you have this done first because you don't want to do the second because to pull this out again to do it, yeah, that's not going to work very well. So that's the upgrade or that's the next step if you're going to do the LCD build. And as I said, you've got to do this in order. You can't put the screen in with the control board after you put the main board in. And this is why I'm building another one or why I built another one for this. So also, to show it off, here's the LCD, here's the LED version. But just because I've already glued everything in, so Jerry and I talked and the whole thought about taking the whole thing apart to put an LCD in, didn't really sound that great. And since I had the ability to make bodies all day long, I have the files, I can do that. It just made more sense to make another so I can sort of show them off side by side. So if you're building this yourself, you're following along and you're going through the, you know, the steps, before you put in the main board, you've got to add in the LCD and the button board or else you're going to have a real a huge amount of problems in order to get the buttons in because they've got to go in before the, the main board. Anyway, so that is the next step. I'm really close because if you build three or four of these, you get really good at it. I knocked out most of this in a day just because of oh, that goes there, that goes there, goes there because I've worked out all the problems already. That's what these videos are to make it easier for you to build your own version of this. So that's the video for today. Hope everyone's having a great day. We'll talk to you all later.